So today we're going to take a little look at my driver. Driver has been designed to make the management of driver health and safety more affordable, simple and convenient. It was designed in conjunction with York City Council and it takes the delivery of driver safety to the next level. The management, distribution and recording of important information and evidence such as company policies, online driver risk analysis, driver education and additional qualifications and evidence can all be dealt with within the system. The system also has a quick yet effective license check to ensure that drivers have the correct categories on their driving license to drive a particular vehicle or to tow a large trailer for example. So today I'm just going to give you a brief rundown of some of the system's core functions. I'm actually logged in as we speak as the fleet manager, the person who has the overall control of the system's functionality for the business. In addition to a fleet manager role, we also have group managers. Group managers are essentially responsible for driver safety and training within their particular department. For example, at York Council, we had waste management, we had housing, we had road maintenance. Within other organisations, we may have sales staff or warehouse staff, etc. And it's worth noting that drivers can be added to one or more or all of these groups. So somebody could be part-time sales, part-time warehouse, in which case they would be within both groups. So looking at the system then, we can add in vehicles, which would be on fleet. You can take or leave this part of the system, it works completely separately from the training element. This is just for the license checking. So when we set up a vehicle, um, we would give it a category. This one's a B category, which means it's just a car, small vehicle. Or a small van for example. Uh, trailers would be B plus E and then larger vehicles C and D category vehicles as well. We can set up our drivers in here. When we set up a driver we enter a series of bits of information. We can enter some license information. Uh, when a driver is set up they are automatically emailed a, a risk questionnaire uh, and they've got to come online and do that. Once they've done their risk questionnaire that would box would be that little uh, circle would go green and they would have to undertake and read policies, acknowledge policies, undertake training and then meet all of the obligations required of them under whatever groups that they were in. With regards to this risk analysis here, it's a series of questions based around their, their role driving at work. For occasional drivers, low risk drivers, only a core element of training would be required. If the analysis came out as low, my driver provides you with compulsory but absolutely vital information to do with driving when tired, not using your mobile phone, dealing with road rage, but also other information like driver responsibility, a little bit of information on why it's important to control your speed, and some basic vehicle checks. As a company, you can then decide to add in extra training if you want to. So you might say, well, that's fine for my low risk drivers and my medium risk drivers, that's fine, but actually on the high risk ones, what I'd like to do, I'd like to add in some additional training required and this would be that the high risk guys they go through an on road defensive driver training course and what we've done there is we put that in evidence required so we're not saying you have to do that defensive on road driver training with us although it's a service we can offer we just want evidence that that's been done in order for it to meet all the criteria within the high risk category but that's something that you set in addition to the analysis we then would have policies. So we've put three policies in here for you uh, as an example, but you can have anything you want in here. So it might just be as part of your uh, groups that somebody in the warehouse has to do COSH or manual handling training, in which case let's get them added. Put in the COSH training, click proceed, you can then upload a COSH document, a presentation, which the driver then would have to read and click to say it understood in order for them to have, have done that. And again you might have manual handling in there as well. And then you've got additional evidence. So policies is essentially online training. It provides them with a presentation that they've got to understand, read and understand and, and provide acknowledgement that they've done that, which records that they've actually understood the information. Evidence would just be a certification of, of participation, for example. One of the drivers may drive a LGV. You might want to put them out in a big, big wagon. 
uh, legally on his license he's got the right categories but actually commercially these days in order to to drive uh, commercially they've got to have undertaken some CPC training so we would require evidence of that CPC training so again we would add it in as evidence we put down that they need CPC training we'd add an expiry date if the uh, st this qualification needed redoing uh, at a certain time and we would add in how many months that uh, that particular evidence is valid for moving on to managing fleet groups so in here we've got our instructors the ATB team uh, we've also popped in there uh, some warehouse and some uh, some branch staff for, for Virgin Money we're going to use ATB instructors because we've got it all set up properly uh, within here we've then gone in and we've added one of our guys as a manager you can have more than one manager of a group or just the one if you'd like then we've said that anybody any, any one of the drivers who is within this group must have given us evidence that they have a valid instructor badge they've also got to provide us evidence that they have valid vehicle insurance and in addition to that they've got to have acknowledged, they've got to have read, understood and acknowledged that they've agreed to comply to our loan working policy. I'm just going to skip to drivers for a second. These are drivers within the, within the uh, organisation. Christopher Chamberlain for example, he's got a valid driving licence which hasn't got any points on so he's, that's all green. If his points exceed uh, six then this would turn amber and that would give us something to think about. We might want to perhaps consider pulling Chris in and have a little chat about why he's got the points, see if there's anything we can do to ensure that he's going to be staying safe. If it was uh, an area where we would need to retrain on, for example, we might want to do something there. And again, we would then upload the evidence of that. Every driver, when they're set up, is, is sent out their risk analysis. Chris hasn't done his yet. We can see that he's never completed that analysis. So at the moment, that's red. He's not low, medium or high risk because he, we don't know. He just simply hasn't done it. He has read and understood his policies, he's done all the training that's required of him. However, within groups, for some reason, we're still red. So we click on the group, and we can see under here that we've got some evidence of his ADI badge, with a little warning triangle hover over that, and that just lets us know that actually it's going to expire soon. So although that's valid right now, it won't be valid in a couple of days' time. So we need to get on to having a new badge uploaded. We've also then found that he's missing his vehicle insurance and again in order to make that compliant we would simply click upload pick vehicle insurance certificate or a koala bear in this occasion add an expiry date add an expiry date and upload and we can see that that's gone to a green tick and we can also see that Chris hasn't yet had a look at the loan working policy in which case he hasn't uh, hasn't done that and again that is not non-compliant when all of this is green ticks uh, and or an amber the groups category would go green so we know that then that he's been he's, he's fully compliant with everything so again we can add in any level of evidence or any amount of evidence required we can add in any policies that we want and then we can associate those with a group and then anybody within that group will have had to tick all of these boxes in order for them to be green on, on the system in order for them to meet their health and safety obligations that the company that's set out and then finally and then finally we have check so we can see here that we've got Chris and we picked the car it's got no trailer we're going to click on check compatibility we can see here that Chris actually has a legal right on his license to drive that vehicle but that he hasn't yet undertaken the core elements of training that are required and he hasn't yet met all the obligations underneath his fleet group legally yes he can drive that vehicle however from a health and safety point of view we would require these particular items making green
And that's it in summary. The system is capable of doing an awful lot more. If you like some parts of the system but you don't like others, if you've got some ideas of things that you could add into the system, please, you know, don't hesitate to, to um, offer us those suggestions. And uh, we would always look to try and uh, incorporate, you know, reasonable suggestions within the system and don't make any changes that, that you want. Thanks for listening. And uh, if you need any further information, give me a call on 01904 696 or on my mobile, which is 077 9484